Hey guys, this is Victor, and today I want to talk about using iTerraCare with regards to time and frequency. Because I get asked this question a lot, like, can we use the iTerraCare device too much? Absolutely, yes, you can. And this is a concern, a growing concern that I've been having because I think a lot of people are overusing the device. And you need to understand that more is not always better. You can't get too much of a good thing. So consider the fact that all heat therapies are always done with caution. They're, they have pretty strict time constraints on them on how to optimize the use of the various devices and techniques. And we have a lot of different heat therapies. And iTerraCare can be very hot. Now, of course, iTerraCare is not only heat, and you don't even have to use the heat. So we could get away from those concerns altogether by just using the lower settings and keeping it at about arm's distance from us, you know, holding it further away. So you're only feeling, you're only feeling warmth. But just keep in mind that if you are using heat therapy with iTerraCare, because many people do and it does feel good, it's very effective using it that way, keep in mind that you really need to probably use it less than you are. So consider that saunas, when we look at a sauna, when we look at the research on a sauna, the very best results come when a person goes to a sauna only once a week. And during that one day a week, doing four 30-minute sessions, using it for like two hours, but even taking a break after 30 minutes. So even with iTerraCare, especially if you're using heat, wow, I don't like to go more than 20 or 30 minutes. I don't really recommend it. And certainly not doing it three times a day for more than that every single day. Now, there are always exceptions, right? There are always exceptions to every rule. But again, generally speaking, and according to all the research and studies we have, we know that heat therapy must be used carefully and it's more effective when you use it properly at the proper intervals for the proper amount of time. Your body needs time to recover, right? Now, what about the crystal energy? Itericare is heat and the crystal energy or the quantum energy Right, this we have a lot of different words for this other type of energy that's coming from the device. We have heat, the crystal energy, and then we also have this terahertz gap radiation, supposedly. So when we talk about the crystal energy, we're talking about things like clearing meridians, balancing chakras, things like that. This is really energy healing, right? So people familiar with Reiki and all different kinds of things, like I do the emotion code. People understand this, that when we do these therapies, again, you need time. The body needs time to rebalance. If you are being effective and you are affecting change in the body, the body needs time to rebalance, to readjust, to get back to a state of equilibrium before you can go to the next session. So you really do need to be careful. You can't just hammer at the body all the time with the iTerraCare device. Again, there might be exceptions, but a lot of people are gonna find that they'll end up getting worse. Sometimes this is just a detox reaction, but sometimes you need time to readjust. You just need a break. And again, consider the example of a sauna and other things, other devices where, look, once a week is enough. Three times, four times a week might be more than enough for you, okay? So again, looking at this energy healing, right? Consider the idea of energy healing. And again, like I, I do the body code, the emotion code, right? I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. And there are so many kinds of energy healing, right? So it's not only what I do, but with many energy healers, with many different practices, we know that we need time. Sometimes we need days before we can do another session. I use muscle testing or applied kinesiology, and I ask, when can I do the next session? How much time does the body need to rest? One day, two days, three days? And typically I get two or three days. Sometimes the body needs up to a week to do it, right? The body needs time to rebalance. So please consider this 
when you're considering the heat therapy or even without it, when you're using it for like energy healing, you really need time to let the body rebalance. Now, what about this terahertz gap radiation that is giving our water or all our fluids a special structure, right? What about the water? The same thing. We know too much energy input will make up, will actually make water and fluids destructure. They will lose coherence. Look, go look at a still pond out in the sun all the time, right? It's not, it's, it's not going to be structured, even though it's got the sun shining on it all the time. So too much of a good thing is not great. And we have these three different modes of, of action from the Itericare device, but doesn't matter which one you consider, all of them have to be used with caution. So you've got to listen to your body, adjust, do what feels right, do what feels comfortable. If you can do muscle testing, or someone that can do it for you to check, hey, can I use the device today? Do that, it would be great for you, okay? So that's it, I really wanted to put out this caution because I'm really worried that a lot of people are using the device too much. More is not better, okay? Listen to your body, calm down, use positive affirmations, be confident, and don't feel the need to rush. You just get on the road to wellness. It's a winding road, but you keep moving forward, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.